Crowds follow Jesus. Matthew 5, 23 to 27. Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in synagogues and announcing good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria and people soon began bringing him all who were sick. And whatever sickness or disease, or if they were demon possessed or epileptic or paralyzed, he healed them all. Large crowds followed him wherever they went. People from Galilee, the Ten Towns, Jerusalem, from all over Judea, and from the east of the Jordan River. This is the word of the Lord. So yesterday Nicola talked to us about Jesus' baptism and how when he was baptised, um, the Spirit descended like a dove and said, This is my Son with whom I am well pleased. And she talked about spiritual baptisms too, how we are baptised with the Holy Spirit. Well, today's scripture, we're moving into the ministry of Jesus, into what he did when he was baptised, what, what followed. And what we can see is the first thing that God does is to walk into all the world and bring healing. And he brings that healing in different types of ways. Some are demon possessed, some are paralyzed, some are full of disease, and he brings them into complete healing. And I really think that that is the take home from this. We get to see a glimpse of God's heart for us, that every part of us would come into right relationship with him. Every part of us would be healed, would be complete. Every part of us would reflect his original design for us, who he created us to be. I don't know, perhaps um, some of us are sick in body. We obviously know that there's a pandemic worldwide and there are so many other types of disease. Um, some of us may be struggling emotionally and others spiritually. Well, our God isn't a distant and far off God who sits with passive compassion but actually he is engaged and motivated to heal us, to love us, to make us whole again. And he does that in a number of ways today. He does that through um, his spirit, and he also does that as he moves through the body of Christ. So as Christians, we believe the Holy Spirit lives in each one of us. And so as Christians, we're called to go into all of the world and to bring his healing, to love people just as he has loved us. Not that we would have a passive compassion, but that we would be moved to action, actively loving our communities and actively praying for those who need it the most.